Hi, I'm Sophie from BBC Good Food and I'm going to show you how to make a pavlova. It's really easy and simple to make, it just requires some egg whites, some sugar and then to make it really nice and mallowy, some corn flour and some white wine vinegar. So first I'm going to whisk my egg whites until they reach stiff peaks. Start whisking your egg whites in a slow speed, this will create even air bubbles and ensure that you get a stable pavlova. I'm going to add my sugar in three additions, re-whisking the eggs to stiff peaks each time. I now have a really lovely glossy meringue and you could bake this as it is, but in order to get the really gorgeous mallowy texture of a pavlova, I'm going to add some white wine vinegar and some corn flour. I'm choosing to flavour my pavlova with vanilla, you can leave it plain or add some coffee or even a little bit of cocoa powder if you want chocolate. If you want to be precise of your pavlova, you can draw a pencil as the shape that you want it to be and turn the paper over. However, I prefer the more rustic approach, so I'm just going to dollop it on. Use the bottom of your metal spoon to make a nice groove in the centre of the pavlova. That's ready for the oven now, so I'm going to bake this really low and slow on the bottom shelf until it's done. To check to see if your pavlova is done, you want to make sure that it comes away from the paper easily. Yep, that's perfect, so I'm just going to leave it to cool. Now my pavlova is cool, I'm going to decorate it. I've got some nice softly whipped vanilla cream. To plonk that on in the centre there. And to go with that, I've just got some mixed berries. Use whatever fruit's in season and you can always flavour the cream if you like. I'm gone for the classic combination of raspberries, strawberries and a few red currants. And to finish it off, I'm just going to do a nice dusting of icing sugar. Yum, I can't wait to eat it. And that is a pavlova from BBC Good Food. <laughs>